All right, so that was, that was all one part of the computing part of this, which is uh, your, your model, you know, under, you know, your model and here are the, all the different kinds of models, okay? Another part of the computing is your model selection. So once, like, okay, so once you have your data, what kind of model do you use? Because we have, you know, a plethora. Uh, and, you know, we need to choose one. Well, the answer is you don't really choose one. You start with a simple one and then uh, get an answer and then you want to improve on that. Um, so generally you have like a flow diagram. Uh, and you start, you know, and it all starts with, okay, we've got a problem. Um, and we have to get the data ready, you know, for the, for that model. So you have to work through that part of it. So once you've got to that point where you're ready, okay, now I have my data where I think it's could be, you know, useful. Then you start applying models and you start with the simplest one, which like a linear regression, just so you can test out is there any meaning in this data you know your your data may not be and most likely it's not a linear problem uh, which we'll go much more into that later uh, it may be more complicated than that but you know you'll, you'll be able to get some kind of accuracy some kind of number uh, numerical accuracy out of it so then you move up to the next level um, you know, you might try, uh, you know, just the basic tree uh, and then try the more complicated trees. And, you know, this is, it's an iterative process. Uh, and, you know, it's just how you, you know, it's just how, how you do it. Um, it all just kind of makes sense once you kind of get going. Um, and I kind of picked, you know, a pretty complicated graph over here, but it's kind of get the idea of, you know, you, you just, you work through a process. Is it, is it more or less accurate? Um, you, you know, you, you go to, toward a more complicated model. They'll run slower. It's kind of right why you want to start with something simple because that'll run very fast. Um, so, uh, you know, it, you might get a certain to a certain point and realize, okay, I need to really look at what features, you know, what are my inputs um, and, uh, you know, work, work that down a little bit to get more accurate. And then, you know, you can, you then something you can do is some tuning, hyperparameter tuning on, on a model, uh, you know, one of the more complicated models, one the, the one that you got the best results from and see if you can get better. And at the end, okay, or any point in here, you have to stop, stand back. Under, this is, comes from defining the problem. Am I good enough? Am I good with where I've got to? Um, and if the answer is yes, then you stop, you're done. You might still keep playing with it, but if, if you're not there, um, you know, if it's still not accurate enough, uh, you're still too far off from, you know, what reality is, but you, that's what, what you're testing. Uh, then you go back and keep, uh, keep adding, um, keep, keep going with your, your, your models, keep getting more complicated models. And if you're doing a Calgo competition, then you just see how far you up on the leaderboard. Um, if you're at the top, then you might take a rest, and get some sleep. Uh, if you're not there, uh, then you just keep going, have some more coffee. Um, you, there's almost no limit to how far you can go with that because somebody else is always going to, you know, be pushing you. And it's done when the competition's over. So, um, so anyway, um, so that's generally the the flow of of doing machine learning. And here's here's another picture of that get the data. I mean, you guys can see this over and over and over and over again, and it's just going to become your life, this pip pipeline. Get the data clean, prepare it, train your model, 
train and test, uh, then improve, go back to number three and keep going. Um, and then maybe back to number two, if you, you know, if you know more, if you can do more, a little more research, uh, put it in front of other people, uh, you know, to, to get even more improvement on your, your, you know, this part, the preparation of your data. And that's the EDA, that's a very big part, which we will go into that. So, uh, next part, 